Hello, my name is Chris Mono, and welcome to Funk Fission. This course is designed to be a nuclear event in your development to becoming a groove-approved hipster guitarist in today's musical landscape. Now, in my world, that landscape is comprised of slickly syncopated, guitar-fueled gyrations around the beat that no matter how complex the idea, it's always tight, it's always in the pocket, and above all, it's always funky. Now, with that in mind, the title of this course is indeed Funk Vision, but don't let that steer you from thinking that you can't take these techniques to other forms of music. What I have assembled for you is a collection of fret and pick hand maneuvers that afford me a collection of inventive uh, rhythm performance skills that I can take to any style of music in addition to funk and its related styles like R&B and soul. I can apply these techniques into blues, rock, jazz, Latin, country, uh, even metal and, th and things heavier than that. To enhance the techniques that, you know, the hand techniques you're going to check out, I also utilize a collection of not so common effects um, on top of the techniques that allows me to create extremely hip and expressive textures. So I'm going to show you how I take these seemingly esoteric effects and use them as instruments to not only embellish what it is I'm playing, but more to redevelop what it is I'm playing. So Funk Vision is basically uh, split up into three sections. You're going to start out with a collection of lessons called The Basics and a couple more called Pitch Modulation. This is where I explain to you the raw techniques. Uh, starting out with some of the tried and true um, approaches such as scratches where you know we get that traditional chickawaka thing going on. Uh, but the thing is, is I'm going to explain to you some of the subtle nuances, subtle nuances that uh, I've discovered over the years of playing uh, in this style so much and that in the ways that I've expanded it so where I can make the guitar more of a string percussion ensemble. Uh, from there I'm going to move you into some of my uh, personal techniques, these unique techniques, uh, like one I call punch comping where I make contact with the strings like this. Through those techniques we're going to move into the pitch modulation section where we take a close look at how I stretch chords, and also use the whammy bar in conjunction with uh, playing rhythms, like this. Once you have the raw techniques together, you're going to move into the section where I've set up six finger twisting riffs for you to play, and i played them over some pretty fat drum grooves that I produced in Ableton Live. Within that section, you're going to discover one of my favorite harmonic devices, which is sus chords. We're going to go very, very deep into those uh, inside sus chords and outside sus chords. You'll see what I mean when you get there. While you're getting the riffs under your fingers, you're going to check out the last section, uh, which is where I take those riffs that you're learning how to play, and I'm going to mangle them with the effects, as I hinted before. What I'm going to do is put these riffs through the rigors of time-based effects, filter sweeps, amplitude modulation effects, all in a very creative way for me to be able to take those riffs to a whole new level. All the while, while you're watching Funk Vision, be sure to check out the text box below the window that you're staring at me in right now, as there's going to be plenty of additional information for you, such as um, uh, even more playing techniques. Uh, there's going to be instructions as to how to decipher the uh, notation that's used to get my techniques on paper, uh, links f uh, for artists and gear companies that are cited throughout the course, as well as MP3s that will further uh, showcase my diabolical sonic excursions. Some of the guitarists that um, played a key influence in getting these concepts together range from Wayne Krantz to David Fusinski, uh, Scotty Mishu, Tuck Andrus, uh, Jimmy Nolan, of course, John Frusciante from the Red Hot Chili Peppers, um, even guys like Dimebag Daryl and uh, The Edge and Steve Howe. I'll talk about all these guys throughout the course, as well as some influences that are outside the six-string gamut, such as modern composer Steve Reich, um, Peter Gabriel, and the world of electronic music and turntablism. In the end, my goal here with Funk Vision is to lead you down a path that's full of new ideas that should serve as a catalyst uh, for a whole new way of playing, or be a very cool enhancement to what you already have going on. Just keep in mind as you go through all the concepts here in Funk Vision that they're meant to be played spontaneously, that you should utilize these techniques so you can improvise extremely grooving and memorable parts and doing it all in real time with your hands and with your effects. So I hope you enjoy, get ready, and uh, let's do it to it. 